guys, it's Courtney and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing my Project Polish update. It is April 2nd today, or no, May 2nd. So this is going to be my end of April, beginning of May update. And I have exciting news. Well, it's exciting for me. I actually finished off two polishes in this month, so I'm super pumped. Um, so the first one I finished off was my Wet n Wild Wild Chime in Wild Orchid. It is this purple one right here. And this was pretty easy to finish off because it took like five coats to get it opaque enough that you could see it. Um, the ball actually like came out of this one and everything. Um, it's still a little, there was still some polish in there because it's on my hand now. But um, this one was really, really old. So this polish was really, really old and I was definitely trying to work it out of my collection. Um, I honestly did really love it. It was super beautiful. Um, I mean, it was like a purple with holographic glitter in it. It was honestly the most pretty thing ever. But it is out and I'm super excited because it definitely took a lot of dedication. And then the other one that's gone is my Julep Polish in Sherry. Um, it does look like there's a tiny bit at the bottom. But I honestly had this like upside down, <laughs> like getting it out. The ball in this is loose too, um, and it came out a couple times. I think I actually lost it. I don't think it's even in there anymore. Um, and I started at the beginning of April right there, and then I worked through all of this. So this one, again, it took multiple coats. This on my fingers is the last of it, and this is like five coats because the more I thinned it, the streakier it got, and it was just wah, wah, wah. Like, you know, it just it took a lot of coats to get it opaque. So... Let's just go through everything else. Um, I kind of started this off funky, but the only polish I used that wasn't a Project Pan polish this month was my Orly Color Blast in Green Color Flip. It goes to, from like a, like a green blue. Um, this is a big shout out to this polish. I wore it over Sherry and it looked like mermaid scales. Like it was super pretty. I do have a photo of that and I'll insert it if I can find it. I believe it's on my Instagram, which is always linked down below. Um, the next one that I did wear quite a lot this month was my NYC in Skin Type Denim Cream, which is this blue right here. This is a really pretty, like, shimmery blue. Um, I don't know why I just showed you the brush, but I did. Um, there is a slight change, so from the pink to the silver. Um, Actually, that mark might have been there from last month, the silver one. I don't think I remarked this. So I honestly don't think there's enough of a change to see in this polish, but I have used it on my toes a couple times and my fingers. This stains, not your fingernails, but it stains your hands around it where your toes if you take it off. So that is kind of annoying, and that's why I haven't used it a lot, but the color is beautiful. Um, it just doesn't work well to flip your polish every couple of days. Um... For this Pure Ice Polish in Hot Tamale, the line is just under the black one. It actually covered up half the black line because the black line was so thick. But this again it takes multiple coats. And so this one I'm hoping to kind of focus on this month um, and maybe get a dent in it. But again, this isn't like an easy polish to wear, especially like if I have a lot of work functions and stuff like that, like bright orange, as I'm wearing like orange on my eyes today, but I mean bright orange isn't like professional. So I have been wearing it on my toes decently a lot because it takes like three coats to get opaque again. Um, the one that doesn't have, the rest of these kind of don't have a lot of progress. This is the Formula X and Kat Von D and Mercy. Um, the silver line was where I was at the beginning of April and it's still where I am. I'm kind of hoping I can get this one out this month, um, so focus on hot tamale in this one and maybe work through it. This is a really pretty color. Um, it's like this really pretty ox blood red right here, and it does kind of have a shimmer to it, which, again, really pretty. Um, the last two is this Revlon Color Stay in Card Shark, and then my Wet n Wild Fergie in Heels of Steel. This one I did use a couple times. I used it on my toes twice and my fingers once this month. This is such a pretty polish. Honestly, let me show you the, like, it's black, but it has a, like, a silver shimmer in it, and it's so, so pretty. And then, spoiler alert, I'm adding in a glitter, which is 
my julep polish in oscar and currently did my line already warm up oh no it's right there so currently i'm at this silver line which is honestly right at the top um of the bottle it needs to be mixed up a little because um so it might be a little bit lower than that but it's basically full um and this is two coats on the wheel so it's decently opaque on its own but I definitely want to try sponging it on with some manicures and I think this would look really good over any of the polishes that are still in here minus maybe this one um, so I think this is something I can decently I can just layer over everything um, and get it out because I have another gold glitter that is super similar and I don't need to so that is my add-in um, if I add in another polish, I'll let you guys know, but I think right now to have the six with the two gone, I want to focus on just those, and then I'll probably add in more next month at the beginning of June, depending on like how I do. But that is my update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're doing this project, let me know down below, please. Like These are so satisfying for me to watch, especially when people finish polishes. This has This is so satisfying. Like when I finished this, I literally called my boyfriend, and I, or maybe he was here, I don't know, but I was like, I finished it, I finally finished it, and he was just like, you're a freak, and I was like, I know, but I'm so excited, um, and then he was actually, he's here today, and I finished this one, so I was pretty excited, um, but yeah, let me know down below if you're doing this project, give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of a thing, you can check out all my other projects, I'll have the playlist linked down below, and, um, hopefully... If you're into project pans and that kind of stuff, you will check it out and get some inspiration. You can hang out with me anywhere on social media. That's all down below as always. Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat's now down there too. You can also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. See my face more often. And uh, hang out with me and be my best friend. Whatever. You know? No pressure, but a little bit of pressure. And, um... I don't know. I love you guys so much. Seriously, thank you for watching. And I will talk to you guys all Later, I hope you're having a great day, week, weekend, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.